Hey, it's Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So we'll be working on the Libra monthly reads for November 2017. What messages do we have for Libra? November 2017. Messages for Libra. November 2017. Messages for Libra. November 2017. Messages for Libra. all about you this month Libra making some choices we got the Libra skills that popped up as a first card let's go ahead and pull some clarification yeah I put all those in backwards it's not good there we go what clarification do we have for Libra for November 2017 clarification for Libra November 2017 clarification for Libra November Choices, 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 sleep, choices, underlying energy, the queen of wands with the sun card. Some of you guys are ready to find some joy. You're ready to do what makes you happy. You're ready to assert your independence if need be just to make sure that you have the joy that you want in your life right now. And I see this leap. So it's definitely like some of you guys are definitely ready to move in a new direction. All right. The theme of the month, we pulled you guys. The justice. Leaper scales, okay. So this is fair and just decisions, doing what you know is right. Maybe even standing up with standing up for your beliefs. And this is definitely decisions that you're gonna make. Cause you got the two of cups, so this could be a decision in love. This could be um, maybe some of you guys are wanting to do what's right in the love situation or needing to do what's right within a romantic situation. For the first week, we got the world uh, card. So this is represent this represents a job well done, joy, contentment, gratitude. The path being on the right path being on the path toward enlightenment but this can also represent a finality this can represent transitioning from one stage of life to the next so this could be a transition period for you with the seven of wands here this represents not giving up choosing your battles wisely standing firm in your decisions so some of you guys are needing to um choose which which direction you want to take your life or even your relationship because i do see a lot of relationship cards so maybe this is um, you guys trying to decide which way you want to take your relationship, whether you want to be with the person or not. We got the lover's card in the second week. Like I said, this is more decisions, um, decisions dealing with um, relationships, intimate relationships, even carefully weighing your decisions. So literally, whatever decisions you're making this month, make sure you think them all the way through because I got three cards here that represent you carefully weighing your decisions and choosing wisely, okay? All right, so with this two of swords, and maybe you may be pretending there's a pro there's not a problem within a love relationship. You may be ignoring the situations within a love relationship, and this may be a real like strong need for you to to be free, especially with the underlying energy of the Queen of Wands, to assert your independence and actually go for what. Yeah. <laughs> you need to assert your independence and actually go for what makes you happy or what makes you you know joyful i see you wanting joy in this situation for a third week we got the six of wands so this represents victory this also represents travel and i do think this is travel going on with the third week because both of these cards represent travel we got the six of wands and the and the uh Knight of Swords. So they both represent travel. The Knight of Swords represent things coming to your attention um, in a fast light or things coming very quickly towards you and you needing to actually think them through. Again, think things through carefully. Um, make sure you're thinking things, thinking, thinking. Make sure you're putting your thought process. Make that, what they say, put on those thinking caps. Make sure you're thinking things through before you make decisions this month. In the fourth week, we got the Ace of Swords. So this represents brilliant new ideas. With the Three of Cups, this could be working with someone within a love situation. This could be starting something new within a love situation and it'd be challenging. Um, this could be seeing the truth of a situation. So maybe this is seeing the truth about a third party situation. Um, dealing with more than one person. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with more than one person. I don't know. So let's go ahead and pull an orb card. We're going to pull one and I'm going to read the description. What? Mm, choose peace. So it popped out. It popped out. Let's see what we got. It says, in this situation, choose the path of peace. As you think you as you think about your various options and possible outcomes, which brings the greatest feeling of peace to your body and mind? This is your answer. 
Additional meanings for this card. Listen to your heart's truth. There is always a peaceful alternative to conflict. Your peacefulness elevates your energy and helps you manifest your desires. Meditate and do yoga as a way of attaining inner peace. So some of you guys are definitely needing to meditate, connect with your higher self, and whatever situation this is that you're going to be dealing with where you're having to make a choice, make sure that you're doing what is right and choosing peace above all. That's all we got, Leo. So, I mean, Leo. <laughs> Libra. So until next time, y'all have a good night. And this is a Libra read because I know people are like, oh, you said a different name. So it's a Libra read. I just said Libra Leo. Come on. Work with me, guys. All right. So this is all I got, Libra. Until next time, y'all have a good night.